All right, guys, welcome to our fall 2021 photo trip. Yep, we're here at uh, Otter Lake Campground in the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. So we have a few days of waterfall photography, and at, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see it behind us, but the, the leaves are actually peaking. Uh, the fall foliage is just what we had hoped. Uh, where we live on Long Island, everything's still green. So uh, yeah. we weren't so sure. It looked pretty nice driving in, and uh, hopefully we got a few nice days of foliage, and the weather is uh, looks like it's gonna be a little bit overcast, which is great for waterfalls. Perfect. So, uh, but a little bit chilly. Yeah, but you know what, we'll make do. Got the camper over there, we're all set up. Got our food with us, yep. a cooler full of beer, and we're good to go. So I want to just give you a quick preview, talk about kind of what we're going to do and some of the gear that we brought and what our approach is. All right, so we're going to head over to the truck and just talk about some of the gear we have. Here's the campsite, pretty nice. We got it all set up. Let's go over to Bill's truck and check out what he's got. All right, so what'd you bring? Okay, so I have my camera. Um, and I have the lenses I brought on this trip is 70 to 200 2.8, which I will use a lot because it, I, I just know I will. I have a 16 to 35, which will probably be on the camera for a good majority of the time, especially if the waterfalls are wide. I have the Viltrox 35 millimeter, which I want to do a really good, more comprehensive review on. I have my 50 millimeter that I won't use too much, I bet. And I also have a fisheye lens that you just never know. I might want to make some sort of crazy, weird looking image. Uh, my tripod, my Faisal tripod. Um, a flash, you know, just because, and whatever accessories we need, cable release, lens, pens. And then I bought a, um, I just bought a new filter pouch. So in here, I have about eight or nine different filters. So with waterfalls, you want long exposures. You never know if it's gonna be sunny or not. So I have all different size filters for all my different lenses for every situation, pretty much. So, Bill seems prepared. So <laughs> let's go to the other side, check out what I got. All right, so of course I got the camera, which is the R5. I have the 50 millimeter 1.2 lens on here, which I don't know how much I'm gonna use it, but this is the only 50 meter focal length that I have in the range of lenses that I brought. Now I usually shoot primes. On a trip like this though, I'm stopped down. I'm usually shooting like F5.6, F8, F11. I don't really need a wide prime lens for the long exposures with waterfalls, stop down like that. So landscape stuff, waterfall stuff, I usually just kind of go for versatility and lightweight. So I have the 16 to 35 RF lens uh, that's gonna basically cover the whole wide angle area. And then I've got the 70 to 200 2.8, uh, which is it's nice and light and small. Doesn't take up a lot of room. The 50 millimeter that I mentioned, and I always bring everywhere I go my tilt shift lens, the 24 millimeter tilt shift lens. I always have that with me, so not a lot in my bag. It's a little bit light, which is good. I've got the M50, which I'm using here for videos. Uh, I have the drone, which I was able to fit in the backpack, which is nice. So, um, you know, when we're out of some of these waterfalls, maybe fly it up high, get some nice drone shots. And then just the accessories. I got the tripod, cable release, and I got all my ND filters uh, in a pack and a pouch that I keep on my belt. Because when you're there and you're shooting, you don't need to put your bag down or have to go get your ND filters to change your neutral density. If you want to change your exposures, it's nice to just have it at your hip. So that's it. Boots, gloves, hats, jackets, things like that. Everything, all the other accessories that we need. But pretty much ready to head out there um, for two, three days of waterfall shooting. All right, while Bill sets up camp a little bit more, we're just gonna take a quick look at basically some of the planning that goes into this. Now, for our last trip, the North Carolina waterfalls, we were able to find a book online. And we're gonna put a link to that video at the end here. We were able I'll to find a book. i up, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> of, uh, of North Carolina waterfalls that basically covered everything. Every single waterfalls there, how to get there, what the hike was, you know, it, this was uh, written by a photographer also. So it was a lot of insight into, you know, what was a good, waterfall photographically and things like that. So um, a lot of the research I had to kind of do just searching online, you know, picking little pieces here and there um, and narrowing down, you know, eliminating some of the long treacherous hikes, eliminating some of the falls that didn't look like they would really, you know, translate to photogra uh, photography well. And you now narrow it down to something that seemed reasonable as to the area we wanted to be in the Pocahontas. So I made my own little map, uh, you know, kind of identified all the waterfalls that we want to see, where they're going to be in relation to us. Outer Creek or Outer Lake Campground. And then I just basically took notes on all of these waterfalls, um, all the spots, extensive notes on what to look for, how to get there, uh, if the trail is tricky, exactly how to get there, um, maybe what times of day to be there, all little notes on exactly what we need to know. This way when we're out there driving around, there's no second guessing, there's no fumbling around trying to figure anything out. We can hit the spots that we want to hit, skip the spots that we don't want to see. Sometimes we're driving along and there's a sign for 
ABC Falls. And we're like, should we go there? No, I've already looked at it. We shouldn't go there. So just to kind of condense things, make it a little bit easier. But all the planning is done. All the packing is done. We've physically gotten here. Now we just got to get out there and shoot. We're going to share uh, all of the uh, sites that we hit. And I'm going to share some of the photographs that we took along the way, what we liked, what we didn't. And you can kind of come along with us. And yeah, maybe we'll drop a couple of uh, images at the, at the end of this video. Right. Because we'll have already shot some of them. Uh, I already took some cool pictures. I walked across the lake over there and Eric pulled the camper right at the edge of the water with some red trees behind it and you know reflections in the water. So that's the kind of stuff you can do in, you know with this this type of situation where you have water, you have all these colors popping and it's it's a great time to, you know, be out photographing. This is a really great time to take advantage of. So if you've never been to the northeast right. at this time of year, it's worth it to, if you're into photography, this is a, a great place to come. The, the whole Adirondack, Catskills, uh, the Finger Lakes region of New York, right. we're in the Poconos of Pennsylvania. It's, it's um, a, you know, a treasure trove of photo opportunities right, for sure. Yeah. Even though we're here primarily, you know, we came out to shoot the waterfalls, that's kind of the reason for being here. And we just find a ton of other things along the way to shoot. Yeah. So. Yeah, like we we were driving in, they had log cabins that were like right. nestled in the woods with the foliage all around. I mean, right. you see a million things once you get going. So uh, yeah, so we'll drop some pictures here that we've already taken, and then look forward to coming up in the weeks ahead. Uh, the rest of this trip, maybe over a couple of videos. All right, so our first stop was Marshall's Falls, which is on Marshall's Creek Road, and uh, it turns out there's no place to park for Marshall's Falls. Uh, yeah. There are uh, plans in the works to make a park around the area, which hasn't been done yet. Uh, there's a tiny little sliver of a parking area on one side, yeah. which has all kind of been barricaded off because I guess they don't want you parking there. And then any little turnout or shoulder anywhere along the road up and down, uh, there's no parking signs, private property signs yeah. all over the place. Definitely. So uh, there was really no place. So we had to ditch that. Maybe one day we'll come back to that. Second spot was the, uh, was the uh, what wasn't it called? The Boy Scout Camp. Uh, it was at Re oh, Resica Falls at Resica Falls Scout Close Reservation. On Sunday. Close on Sunday, so uh, just a quarter of a mile south of that is uh, very little information about this on the internet, is Green Falls. So we just kind of parked on the side of the road. There's no real trail here. We just kind of made our way down. But uh, it's actually a pretty nice uh, looking waterfall. So we're gonna spend a little time here, get some shots, hopefully get something nice. But yeah, nice little falls, uh, a very short hike from the road. If I was a little bit taller, you can see the road back there. Cars parked right there. Um, no real trail though, uh, but a, a fairly easy walk to get down here. So what did you think of Green Falls? I thought it was not spectacular. Maybe not worth the effort. It's but nice looking, but it was sticks and branches in the way. Yeah, it was a little bit of a mess. And it was a little treacherous. A tree basically almost fell on me. <laughs> Bill yelled my name just in time for me to look up and see him holding the tree up. <laughs> Yeah, the, Until I got out of the way and he let go and it fell. The ground was very soft yeah. and uh, yeah, not really a, a laid out trail, so we kind of had to hike around a little bit. There's probably a reason why that's not like an official uh, yeah. trail, so, yeah, so. Um, we'll, we'll pop a couple of pictures in here, but you know, unless uh, you really have seen everything else and want to see the last waterfalls you haven't seen, and you, you don't mind hiking. I would down some one. steep slopes. Yeah, I would just yeah, skip maybe it. skip this one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to Resica tomorrow okay. or the next day and I'll uh, see what we get there. But yeah, so there we go. Green Falls. All right.